Uh, um, quite fun to build and it can look quite nice. Um, like that tear tree over there I uh, built a while back, I think looks pretty cool. And the little Dratini is cute, but you're not exactly going to get something like, um, uh, Brian from Family Guy or, uh, this Mario or this Christmas tree or Gaster, which is a video I m a Pixel Art Sunday I made and accidentally deleted. Um, or like Garchomp, Pikachu and Eevee, or Mimikyu, or Blastoise over there. You're not exactly going to get them into your ha into a house unless your house is a mega base. Uh, uh, for an example of mega bases, just like watch any season of uh, um, Hermitcraft, like uh, um, everybody like builds mega bases there, or that. So you're not really going to get most of these pixel arts into your base. That's why I decided to come up with some pixel arts that, w that you could reasonably fit into your base. So, um, for this, I uh, try to like keep it with um, four blocks tall, two, three, four, yeah, four blocks tall, because I usually have um, my build be be four, well, one floor being four blocks, and uh, the f next floor starts here. That so, uh, and the, I think that's about the average size of a house because, um, or at least it should be because, um, if I get some wood here, like, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'll build this out of, but yeah, like that isn't it. This just feels cramped, like under here, and under here is better, but, um, I just think like for. Four block um, high floors are pretty much um, the perfect height for a house. So let's go through some of the ideas I had. We have a little smiley face here. I got this idea because um, this I think this was the original spawn. I think I might have moved it, but um, this here was the original spawn, and I built that was the first thing I built in this world. Um, and this was back on the Nintendo Switch version of Minecraft, so um, I decided to recreate that in a uh, much smaller form. Um, then we have Mario's M, because I, I, I did try to make a tiny Mario, but that didn't turn out so well, so I just made his M. Um, we have a little poop emoji here. I think I did good with like the limited space. Now some of these I do go one or two blocks higher, um, but typically... I. For most of these, I do tr at least try to keep them uh, four blocks tall. Um, if I if they're not four blocks tall, there would have been like a point in time where I tried to make them four blocks tall, but then I was like, nah, I'm not going to be able to squeeze this within four blocks, so I'm going to have to move it up a block. And I think there's even um, some later on I've had to move up a couple blocks. And uh, um, this isn't too much of a problem because, like I said, while I think four blocks tall for each floor is... Um, the best is pretty much perfect. Um, I do know people do have them a little bit taller um, in some bases. I try to make a TNT block, but um, the problem with like um, the words uh, TNT is like, look here. If I go here, T uh, N. Uh, how would I do this? Yeah, so just be like that. Yeah, you can't even finish off the N, really. Um, so there's just not enough room to do TNT. So I decided to go with a very basic version, just like red stripes, two white stripes, and another red stripe. And then I just put a little ball around it just because I had a bit of extra space. Um, and it, um, you can sort of get an. The, you saw you can get the idea of what it's supposed to be. Um, you could also make this a little bit taller. So if I go here, say like a couple, let's go up a couple blocks. Could go up a couple blocks and um, make it. Like this. 
which is a little bit closer to um, the block itself, in my opinion, because um, you do have like um, each one of these is about the same size as that, as each red stripe is about the same size as the white stripe in the middle. So um, you could say that looks a bit closer, but I I prefer I prefer just like. Um, I just prefer what I had earlier. Um, yeah, I just prefer that a little bit more. Maybe I take off a little bit off the edge. There we go, that actually looks a little bit better. So yeah, like I said, um, just get a block there. Just yeah, come on, there we go. Um, yeah, that that looks a little bit better. I mean, it's off center now, um, which is a little bit annoying, but yeah. All right, next one we have a very basic pokeball, um, and it. Uh, um, this is more along the vein of like um, when you would open your bag, it would like show you like the Pokeball. And with this, it's very versatile because it could be a Pokeball or a Great Ball, or uh, if you wanted, um, uh, uh, ah, get some black concrete and some yellow. Yellow. Um, you have an ultra ball. Uh, ultra ball. Actually, you could do it there and there. Yeah, there you go. You could have an ultra ball. Um, well, actually, it's. Technically hyper in Japan, so that would be, um, it, yeah, that looks better. You got an ultra ball. Um, what, what else? What other type of balls? Um, well, actually, I've made a lot. I've, as you can see here, I've made a lot of different balls. So it's like you got, you got um, ultra ball. You've got many different balls, but I don't. I think, yeah. I mean, I guess you could do um, premiere. Maybe. Like. Like that. Like that, maybe? I don't know. Um. But yeah, again, for this one, I have had to go um, a block up just to fit it in. Um, so yeah. Um, and here, um, I've based these off... We've got some like button, video game buttons. I have based these off the um, GameCube buttons because I'm currently like using my um, GameCube for Nintendo Switch. So... Um, uh, that's why I based them off the GameCube one. But we have, uh, we've got a couple of like different um, ways to build these. So for this one, you have an A button with um, the A being in uh, uh, being a green wall in line with the rest of the button. Here we have a B button with the um, B being red wall again, but um, instead of being in line with the concrete, it is sunken in. Giving it a bit more depth, if you prefer that, um, because um, especially with like um, the GameCube buttons, they are um, the, the GameCube, the GameCube A, B, X, and Y aren't painted on; they're engraved into the actual buttons themselves. Um, so yeah, and then we have um, the X and Y now. Um, for like button buttons that, like these uh, that are a bit too complicated to do large lettering, like w literally, if 
this is the bare minimum you need to do a Y, and it is pretty much as big as a single one of these buttons. Um, so I would suggest for something like this, um, use a sign um, or something to try and um, you know copy it, and also you could do it like with all the buttons as well. So like. If you wanted to make a little B button, you could do it like that, I guess. A B button. I mean, I guess uh, like that would be better. But again, I'm just trying to make these as compact as possible while still looking good, and I think. Um, this a, I did. I think I did pretty good on the A, but in the B, B uh, it's a bit big. But you, there's not really much you can do with the letter B. Um, and then we just have a classic creeper face, which again is a tad bit big, big. But um, if you want, um, you could get rid of that bottom line, and it still looks all right, and maybe the top line. Um, but I think th this is the best way you, it looks. And now for the last um, thing that I could think up, think, oh, last two things, um, we have a little bit of like scenery here, so it's supposed to like uh, look like the outside. This so like got like a little hill, a tree, a sun, um, and this is um, I think it's called like uh, the room where uh, where um, the boy and I think his mother lived in this little room and um his and the only um thing he knew about outside was what well, was painted on the walls so i guess you could go for that kind of style and then, you know got a pac-man just pac-man and some dots um and i don't think you'd be really be able to do ghosts too well because they, they were really, i don't know they, they were i don't think you could really do them much justice on this because well, let's just try it quickly. So, let's just try and get the bait. Yeah, no. That would be the body, and then you'd have to do the ten, uh, like tendrils at, at the bottom. And no, you can't really do uh, ghosts on here. You'd need a bigger wall. And even this Pac-Man is um, simplified. It's a simplified Pac-Man. Um, even from like the original game. So yeah, these are just some ideas I had of um, pixel art that you could possibly put on your um, put in your base um, base if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, I think that I think I managed to do. Pretty well. Have I buggered this up somehow? Right. Oh, wait, no. There we go. I still feel like I've messed it up somehow. Anyway, um, uh, so yeah, these. Um, if I had to pick my favorite and my least favorite, my least favorite would be the poop emoji, because I'm not a big fan of emojis. And my favorite um, would probably. be be um this one just because you could get really creative with like what you had out there because yeah I've I got this this bit is just like a little like example but you could get really creative so like on one wall you could have a plains on another one you could have a mountains biome on another wall you could have a desert on another wall you could have a snowy tundra and could get really creative with what different biomes you have um on the walls and i think this opens itself to be 
creative and you could even like um get really creative with like um how you go into the next room so you could have like um how you get into the next room you know built into it so you could have like a little shack um on a hill or in like the plains biome and there's a door on the shack and if you go through the door that takes you to the storage room or something like that um and i just think that um that out of all of these that has the most potential potential because with the pokeball yes you can uh, can you can make a pokeball great ball and hyper ball and maybe premier ball depending on I don't think the Premier Ball looked that good, but I did my best. Um, yes, you could make them, but again, this just ha this just has more possibilities with what you could do with it, and how creative you can get with it. And Pac-Man, I do. Uh, if you if you go through the time and effort to like recreate the background from his original game, and then just like make your house like a But I really don't see any of the uh, uh, anything else really um, being as creative. Like, I guess you could have like um, different buttons from lots of different controllers. But again, these took up a lot, especially the speed button. They, it took up a lot of room. Um, so yeah, they have a little bit of a size problem. Where um, with the biome one, you can pretty much make it as big or as small as you want. Heck, on one side you can have a daytime, and on the other side you can have a nighttime, and maybe have like um, skeletons and zombie. Well, that would take a that would need a lot more room, but um, it this it is scalable. So like, if you have a mega base like um, in. Uh, Hermitcraft, then you could do a massive, like, mosaic kind of thing, and to just like have a really fleshed out, really detailed uh, pixel art. And uh, um, that's why I like that one best. Um, and of course, with the creeper skull, you could probably like make any of these. Now, these look a bit weird because these were built using the plastic texture pack, which I don't. Currently, I have on, but um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like especially these two. These two look really weird without the plastic texture pack, and you can't even see the face on this one because um, there's no plastic texture pack. Um, if I put it on quickly, I think I can. Um, settings, I don't think I can put it on, can I? Yeah, ah, here we go. Uh, where's plastic? There you go, plastic. Oh, I can't equip it. Anyway. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next pixel art someday. And if you have any ideas of um, what pixel art I could make in a small area, then feel free to comment them down below and I'll... Uh, um, try and build them and if I get enough to make another pixel art Sunday on this I'll um, do that because um, I do believe that um, you know showing showing how you can make pixel art in survive because none of this is really that costly because it's all concrete and all concrete is is dye um, gravel and sand, all of which are easily obtainable in survival with nothing le less than a shovel for the most part, like, yeah, shovel, maybe a little bit of bone meal to get the flowers, um, and none of them are really resource intensive unless you, like, scale this or, uh, this one up and make it really detailed, but yeah, um, and I think like doing this will get more people into like making pixel arts and like incorporating it into like their houses and um, if you want to like incorporate any of these or sh you know shoot me some images of um, you know pixel art I I'll, uh, I'll, set, I'll set something up so you can do that anyway I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.